Hi, this is Lisa Crosby and in this short video I'm going to introduce you to Power Virtual Agents and take you through how to create your first bot with no code. We're going to create a couple of topics, customize the standard greeting, test our bot, publish it and see it running on the demo website. Once you log in, you'll find yourself at the home screen. And the first thing we're going to do is create a new bot by clicking on the little bot icon in the top menu bar. From there, we just click on new bot. And we're gonna be asked for two things. One is to give the bot a name, which is nice and easy. But this option here is really important. This allows you to choose an environment. So if you're going to be using your bot to connect to other business systems using Power Automate, which is one of the really important features of Power Virtual Agents, you need to make sure that when you set it up, you're actually putting it in the same environment as where those Power Automate flows are going to live. If you're working with um, Common Data Service Dynamics 365, make sure you put it in the same environment so that it can talk to those systems. And there you go, it only takes a couple of minutes to spin up the bot and we're ready to get started. So the first thing we're going to do is create some topics and, and topics are really at the heart of, of how Power Virtual Agents works. So my bot here is called Inky. Inky is going to uh, be a bot that's going to give reading recommendations and help people find online bookstores. So we start by clicking the new topic button. We give our topic a name and then we need to create a series of trigger phrases. Now you don't have to put in the exact wording of what the person would type. Pairs of words, phrases using different different words, different synonyms, different grammatical structures and things is what it needs. And the suggestion is five to 10 trigger phrases here to give it enough variety. And then the natural language processing behind the scenes means that the bot will understand when someone types a full sentence with the intent of one of these things. That looks like enough. So what we do now is click on save. Make sure you save your topic before you go ahead. And once it's saved, then we're ready to click through onto the authoring canvas, which is this lovely graphical user interface that allows us to build our bot with no code. So you'll see, here we go. We start with our trigger phrases. And the first thing we're going to do is the bot is going to respond to that with a message. Sounds like you need something good to read. Let me help you with that. And then the bot is going to ask a question to find out from the person, what's their favorite genre? What do they like to read? And we'll just scroll down a bit here. And you'll see that as we start to build this out, I'm putting in a multiple choice question in this state. There's lots of different types of questions that you can add, but this is a nice, simple one to get started. As I add each option there, it's actually building out the, the conditions and the different branches of what's going on so I don't have to do anything to get that going it's uh, it's just automatically doing that for me and then for each of these options I've got different things I can do here I can ask another question uh, I can redirect to another topic and so on for now I'm going to just keep it nice and simple again we're just going to show a message and in each case the bot is going to pop in a message with a book that they recommend from that um, from that genre and a link through to a place where you can find out more about it and once we're done there we click save so now we can give the bot a little test in the panel on the left hand side there in the chat panel. Uh, so we'll go down and we'll put in one of those trigger topics. Now you'll notice I'm putting this in a full sentence here so that it's picking up on, uh, on those key phrases. I need something to read and the bot takes a minute here and comes back with there we go. You'll see on the right there that it's actually tracking the topic. Those little green ticks, I can follow the path of where it's gone so that I can see that my bot is working. So let's just finish it off properly here. We can end the conversation with a survey. And this is kind of cool. If you want all the nodes to go to the same place, there's this drag and drop feature here because we want all of those things once we've been down those three different paths to end with the same end conversation. And this has a built-in survey functionality um, that will measure the sentiment, measure uh, what the whether the person was happy with the, with the response or not. So let's just see that in action now with the new uh, end of conversation survey in there. So we'll pop a different variation of the trigger phrase in this time. And here we go again. The bot is following along the questions. We'll choose a choose a different option in the in the menu bar. We'll go for mystery and thriller. And there we go, following down, and it goes through to the end, and then it's popping up this standard question here. Did that answer your question? Yes. Um, and 
we get the standard survey in here with these smiley faces. Now you notice I didn't build that. That's a standard built-in topic, uh, and I'll show you that working uh, in the in the tracing in uh, in the next example here. So let's create another topic now. This time we're going to just create something simple about uh, finding an online bookstore. So we create another topic. Same concept again. We add a bunch of trigger phrases, and I'm just going to zap through that because you've seen the concept already. We don't need to watch me type. Save it and go into the authoring canvas again. So this time, a uh, simple message to say, yes, I seem, seems like you want to buy a book. And we're just going to pop a, another message in there. So this one actually doesn't go forward and ask any questions. It just gives them a, an answer. And you can actually put the hyperlinks. I put the full hyperlink in the last one, but there is an option there to put the link in so that you've got hyperlinked text instead of showing the full URL if, uh, if that's what you want to do. And again, we'll just finish that off with the end the conversation, end with survey option and save it. So the next thing we're going to do is link these topics together. We're going to go back to the standard greeting topic where the bot starts its journey to sort of create almost like the concept of a, a top level menu tree. So the system comes with a bunch of predetermined topics. The greeting is one of them. It's got lots of things in there so that it responds to hello, good morning and so on. And we can go in and edit that topic. So the first thing you want to do is give the bot your own name and personality. So it comes with this standard thing. I'm going to pop in, you know, my my bot's name, get rid of a couple of those, um, that standard question at the end and change the question to say, here are some things that I can help you with. And we're going to give the option of reading recommendations or finding an online bookstore, which are the two topics I've created so far. So the idea here is that if someone starts with just saying hello to the bot, it's going to suggest to them, here are some things that I can help you with, which is actually a really good way to, to uh, create a good user experience with, uh, with the bot. So what we're doing there is choosing to redirect the topic. So each time it chooses that menu item, it's going to redirect to one of those topics that we've already created. Save it again. And I'm going to this time switch on the track between topics option so that when I'm testing it, you'll actually be able to see it jumping around between the greeting topic and those different topics we've used and also that little survey at the end. So I'm starting this time with a greeting. Hello. Hi, I'm Inky. Here's the kind of thing I can help you with. What would you like to do? I'm going to choose reading recommendations and you watch the canvas on the right will actually switch across to the topic that I created earlier because it's redirected to that and it's picked up that topic now. So here we go. We go through. I like historical fiction, same result. And now that I've clicked, you know, did you get the, um, you know, what did that help you? It's gone through in the canvas to that system topic that shows you the behind the scenes of the smiley faces and the, and the sentiment score and what's going on there. So the next thing you need to do is publish your bot, which is a single click to just publish it. And then there are a number of channels you can deploy your Power Virtual Agent bot onto. So let's just go and have a quick look at those. Obviously, you can put it on your website, which is one of the most common things you can do. But you'll see lots of other options there, Facebook, um, Slack, you know, lots of different things. I'll point out Teams in particular. There's a lot of good use cases for creating a Power Virtual Agent that sits in Teams, which means it's a, an internal bot. Uh, but let's have a look at the demo website now, single click, so you can just get a sense of how it looks on a website. Um, obviously, you wouldn't really deploy it like this, but if you wanted to test something and show you colleagues, do a bit of a proof of concept or whatever, this is a really quick way to be able to see it in action without having to do any, any putting it out to the channels. So you can see it working there exactly the same way that we had before. There's my hyperlink working um, and we're going down that, that path again. Yes, I'm happy with the answer. We'll give it a smiley face there. And then the bot will now say, well, can I help you with something else? We'll say yes. So now you'll see, you know, the, the topics that I created can come from that main greeting topic or can be triggered by one of the trigger phrases. So if I start with hello, I'll get that main greeting topic. But if I just go straight to the bot or somewhere throughout the bot and use one of those trigger phrases, it's able to identify that topic and jump straight into the trigger phrase. So there you have it. That's a nice overview of how to get started, how to create your first no-code bot. Uh, please see my other videos for more specialist topics on how you can get even more out of Power Virtual Agents. Thanks for watching.